A dangerous railroad crossing at the center of a years-long KPRC2 investigation. Nearly a dozen accidents at the tracks near Highway 90 and Cravens Road in less than a decade. The crossing is in Missouri City, and the most recent incident was just over a week ago. Sky 2 was overhead on November 19th as crews got that train moving again. That's right, but it's part of an issue that KPRC2 investigates first exposed back in January of 2019. KPRC2 investigator Mario Diaz joins us now. He's looking into what's changed and also what hasn't. Mario? Chris, if you take our report from 2019 and compare it to what you see here behind me today at this railroad crossing at Cravens Road, I can tell you that very, very, very little has changed. Cravens Road crossing at South Yes, there are uh, US 90. We've had some accidents involving trains there. How many? Two in 2021. The latest 10 days ago, a train versus a semi. The semi lost a good chunk of its trailer. Fortunately, no injuries. But it's the 11th accident at this crossing in less than a decade. He's stopped right now. He's jammed up. And this is what happens. He has nowhere to go. In January 2019, KPRC2 investigates captured the dangers of the crossing with Missouri City Police Sergeant Tracy Cox. We spoke following an accident involving an Amtrak train. And after a report, Cox helped put together. It was completed and submitted to the city um, August of 2017. But since then, the dangers of big rigs getting stuck on the track still exist. The city says they have put up more signs, but re-engineering the intersection is still a work in progress since it requires coordination with TxDOT. From what I'm gathering, there's been signage, but there really hasn't been anything about the actual crossing itself in that area of asphalt. Why? Yeah, you know, probably there's, uh, I would say that COVID had something to do with it, with the, with the uh, lack of uh, in face-to-face -face meeting that we have had. Uh, and but there's uh, a lot of other construction projects that have taken place that across correct. the state and that with public funds done via Zoom meetings, and they still get those projects done. Yes. Is that really the... Is that the real reason here? Not, not the primary reason. Shashi Kumar heads up Missouri City Public Works. He says they are also waiting on the state's public funds, but tells me he's tired of waiting. We want to push this aggressively with TechStart and other stakeholders. What do you plan to do now? Yeah, I will. I will immediately have my team contact the TechStart local area office and escalate this to the district office to see how we can work together to find a solution expeditiously. Like you said, it's been it's been three to four years. Uh, since we've made any concrete improvements. Keep in mind, the state of Texas has over 10,000 miles of rail line, and this crossing behind me has been ranked in years past as the sixth most dangerous crossing in the entire state. But as you just heard from Missouri City officials, they are now going to start to push this issue forward with TxDOT. Live in Missouri City, Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates.